Hello there, uh, my name is Tom Rawlins. I come from Great Britain. Uh, I work here as a senior lecturer at the, uh, the HC Graduate School of Business uh, and I'm uh, about to answer some of your questions. Hello. So I've been asked to come here and talk about myself uh, and what I do at HSC. And I have a few questions here that I've been asked, uh, that I've been given to answer. So uh, the story of my life, where did you study? Why have you chosen HSC? Uh, if you look back, I originally uh, studied in the UK. I studied at Nottingham University and then briefly at Birmingham University uh, where I was starting my PhD. And then I decided to move to HSC for two reasons. Firstly, because uh, this is a place where I wanted to continue my PhD in management. And also uh, here, the, what's interesting about the, the teaching and the faculty here is that there is a good mix between uh, what's called uh, practically orientated teaching and academically um, academic teaching or academic research. So HSE is a research institute, but at the same time in the, in the business school, there is a good mix of people with a business background. And myself, I have a business background. I've worked in multinational companies. I've been a serial entrepreneur setting up my own companies. Uh, but then moving on basically to the next question, the reason I decided to teach uh, is that I enjoy teaching. I feel I have something to give. I also have a research interest in um, the thing that I'm really interested in is this idea of integrity, integrity as uh, doing the right thing. And then the question is, okay, well, if you're always doing the right thing, what is the right thing to do? What are the right reasons? Uh, because everyone seems to have their own idea of right and wrong. They have their own reasons. And then for me, it's very interesting about the, uh, the relationship between power and ethics, between uh, what I call uh, uh, the right to be right in an organization. What's the difference between individual integrity, organizational integrity? You know, how do you? How does a company work? How does the uh, or even the, the politics within the company? You know, how do you? Uh, how do you get people on your side? How you develop a, a company philosophy, a company ethic? Uh, how do you decide and how do you communicate in a in a company what you believe is the right thing to do? What is your code of ethics? How does your code of ethics differ? from the code of ethics in other companies. Uh, how do you start making your own code of ethics? Where did it come from? Uh, and so I've spent a lot of time uh, together with other people researching the idea of ethics, uh, going deeper into moral philosophy, understanding the normative ethics, going back to virtue ethics, to uh, deontological ethics, consequentialist ethics, uh, and looking at even more modern uh, discourse ethics and looking at how we can take take these theories that we have in the literature from uh, from all different interesting places and how we can apply them to the workplace and to business today. So for me, it's a fascinating subject. I enjoy it. Why do I teach? Because I, I enjoy it, and I I also believe that it's uh, especially when you're moving from the, towards the end of your bachelor's degree and when you're starting your master's degree. Uh, the master's degree is a time where you really. Um, you're about to set out on a career journey, you're about to take the next step to a PhD or into a particular career. A lot of people are already working whilst they're doing the masters or they've worked somewhere before. Uh, and it's a question of finding yourself, finding your own philosophy, finding your own ethic. Uh, and I honestly believe I've had some very good feedback from the students that during, by the end of this course, the students are, have a, a better idea, a better understanding of what is it they want to do in life, what's important for them, what's, what's valuable, what's, you know, what makes life worth, worth living, or in, not so much what's the meaning of life, but certainly uh, what business means to them, and how really, if you want to go, go out and make the world a better, better place, you know, what, is, what, what does that world look like? Uh, what is a better place? Uh, what does it look like if you're going to go out there and do it, and how should you go, go out there and do it? What kind of company should you work for? Perhaps what kind of company should you not work for? Yeah, it all depends on your ethic, your philosophy. And what I kind of give the, I provide a framework during the courses, a framework of, of business ethics uh, and a lot from analytical philosophy from my favorite philosopher, Ludwig Wittgenstein. Uh, and we try and understand, uh, help you. The basic objective that I have is to be able to help you develop, systematize, and then openly defend and argue your own position, your own ethic. Uh, I'm not here to teach you ethics. Uh, I'm here to help you develop uh, and systematize and openly defend your own ethic. Yeah, your own philosophy. That's, that's basically what I'm here for. Uh, and I enjoy doing it. Uh, and I hope that some of you who see this will also think, oh, it might also be interesting for me. And you'd be interested to come along to the, uh, the master's degree at, at HSE. Maybe I'll join my courses. Uh, and 
Uh, hope to see you. Hope to see you here.